Roy Jones Jr., ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty damn excited about this one. Really, really excited about this one. When this game first became available for us to play uh, in the beta, Roy Jones was my favorite fighter to use. Of course, right now, it is Muhammad Ali. I think Ali feels better than Roy. He feels smoother. But that's not to say that Roy Jones does not feel good. He feels absolutely incredible. He still feels good from his animation to his movement. Just everything about him feels pretty good. Um, oh, looks like we're facing Canelo Alvarez, uh, level 12. 13 wins, 5 losses. So this man has played a bit of ranked, which is good. Let's get it. Let's get it. Very excited to see how this one's going to go. Um, I love fighting Canelo. I mean, this is a matchup right here that I think both of us will have to be very careful with. Um, for him, he's going to have an issue entering the pocket with me 100%. Like, he's going to have to be very skilled when it comes to entering the pocket. Um, and then I have to be very careful with Canelo Alvarez's power. Um, in the pocket, he's going to be very, very dangerous. Um, if I hang out in the pocket too long and I let him land those left hooks and all that. So this is going to be a game where the goal is going to be to keep him at the end of my punches the whole entire time. If I keep him at the end of my punches the whole entire time and he's not able to make his way beyond that, he's going to get completely outboxed, bro. Honestly speaking, he's going to get completely outboxed. You got to like, you got to, you got to enter the pocket if you're using Canelo and you're facing Roy Jones. I've had, I've had matchups, man, where it was like, woo, good times. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Uh-huh, there's a jab. Mm-hmm. Left hook. Jab, left hook again. Jab, jab. Left hook. To be honest, man, the one thing that even gives a Canelo Alvarez a chance against Roy in this game is just it's, it's the um the, that issue I talked about like right here when you throw a shot sometimes like you know you can't you can't move back during the recovery animation of the strike if you could do that bro oh my god like this it would be very difficult to even touch Roy Jones man his speed his length Yeah, his speed, his length. You would just be able to pop him back up, pop him back up, pop him back up. But like right now, when you pop, you kind of have to stand in the pocket and wait for the strike recovery to finish before you can start moving backwards. See, like, he's giving him opportunities to land some of these shots to the body. But this dude is good, too. He's, he's, uh, he's looking to pull counter. See that? Nice, 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 nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm too close to this dude. But I'm also trying not to immediately, like... I'm trying to get away from the habit of throw, back up, throw, back up. And the, there we go. This is the range. All right. Too close. Too close. Yeah, we're going to have to find a balance. That was my round, 100%. I got to try to find a balance between um, staying just at the right range. And when I notice him advancing forward, back up again so that I'm still at the appropriate range. End of the punches. There we go to the body there. Speed generates power. Time is everything. If you've got speed, you can pop knock anybody out. You've just got to hit them in that spot. Mm-hmm. Jab. There we go. 
Jab, jab again. Another jab. Watch my stamina. Watch my stamina. There's a jab again. Yeah, man, he feels absolutely incredible to use, bro. Now, my opponent is doing a good job of working the body. But, like, it, it just... I just It's just not going to do much, to be honest with you guys, man. It just it really won't do much. It really will not do much. Get that with that jab, jab. Oh, oh, he landed that one. He landed that one. I don't like that. There we go. Huh. Left side of my head. Uh, he probably won this second round. Because I hung out in the pocket a bit too long. Yeah. I hung out in the pocket a bit too long. So he probably he probably won this second round. But we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Round number three. Come on, baby. I'm trying to box better in this round. I'm also using the um, loose footwork now. And I'm going to keep it on for the rest of the fight. I'll keep it on for the rest of the fight. Use that loose footwork and try to... There we go. Try to box better. There we go. Ah! Move! Move, Roy. Move, Roy. Move, 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 move. There we go. There we go. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hung out too long in there. There we go. That was a nice counter right there. Another counter. Gone. Keep going. That was a nice jab. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I'm hoping. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh huh. There we go. Ooh, he landed that one to the body. Another one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, sir. Loving that. Let's keep it going just like that, baby. All right. Round number four. Oh, nice. Nice. 30-27. We are winning this whole entire fight. It's a nice, it's a clean sweep so far. And uh, I am going to keep it exactly like this. I have pretty much found my range. I know exactly how to outbox this guy. Look at my stamina, bro. Like it, It's still all the way up, dude. Still all the way up. And I, I know his head health is... uh, His head his head health... Not his head health. Just his health in general. I know it's very low. I know it's very low at this point. Or at least it's getting there. Oh, damn. Come on. Come on. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. I love... Oh, wow! Whoa! Whoa! That was a clean shot he hit me with right there. Oh, my God. I wish that would have landed clean. There we go. There we go. Oh, careful. Careful. This is where you're going to start getting rocked now. Uh-huh. 
There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's a drop. That's a drop, baby. That's a drop. What are we doing, sir? Get back up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Seven. Okay, he's up. He's up. He's up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we go. Round number five. Move. You wanna keep it moving just like that. There we go. We're gonna keep it moving just like that. Nice jab. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to go through all these power shots. Woo! What a Woo. gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down. It's so demanding. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What else can you do? Oh, man. I think I'm kind of in his range right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. This is my range right here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> it disappears. Ah. There we go. There we go. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. Look at that beautiful Roy Jones movement, baby. <laughs> oh, it looks good, man. It really does. It really does. He just keeps running into shots, man. Every time he every time he tries to enter the pocket, he just runs into something, man. It's why I said, man, like, this is not... This is a tough match for him, bro. It's a tough match for him. You got to really know how to enter the pocket to do this. Mm-hmm. All right. My round two, baby. My round. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Round number six. Come on. Aha. Beautiful. Tagging him right. Bro, this is, a, this is a solid, solid performance right here, bro. I don't think this man has won a single round, man. But we are going to find out in round number seven. We are going to find out in round number seven. I think I've won every single round so far. And it, it, it's really no surprise, bro. Like I said at the beginning of this fight. This is the sort of matchup that, like, you're going to need a lot of expertise to be able to deal with. Canelo Alvarez versus Roy Jones Jr. in Undisputed is a difficult match for Canelo. It is a tough, tough match. Because, like, this game, man, it, it, it's, it favors the lengthier opponent, man. If you're longer and you're also faster, that's a lot of advantages, bro. You know, the, the ability to enter the pocket quickly and do damage is is it's really really seriously missing in undisputed it is and so like a matchup like this man it, it, it favors me a lot bro it really oh you're gonna get rocked bro you're gonna get rocked like you could you can win this match easily if the roy jones player is dumb you know what I mean? If he's dumb and he's like standing directly in front of you winging haymakers, then yeah, you could easily pull counter or slip counter and just knock him out and just rock him over and over again. But like, yeah, if he if he's playing like I'm playing, it's a, it's a very tough match. It's a rough match. Yeah, look at that, bro. Clean sweep, bro. 60-53. Won every single round. Oh, man. This is not good, bro. This is not good at all. 
Man. Oh. Woo. See, we see what I mean? Like I'm just standing right outside, right outside his range and just tapping him, bro. Yeah. Yikes. You're about to get rocked, bro. Yikes. Careful, watch it, watch it, watch it. Uppercut. I don't see. I don't. I don't like using the uppercuts in this game, bro. It's just not. Uh, it just doesn't flow well at all. Oh, he landed that one. Okay. Also, I know you guys keep asking me why don't I throw the haymakers because those whiff very, very easily. I like using them when I know it's like it's a, almost a guarantee to land. I don't like leaving myself wide open just so I can say I threw a freaking haymaker. So when I find the opening for it, I will land it. There we go. Let's keep it going just like that, baby. Just like that. Round number eight. Round number eight. Oh! Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch. You're about to get rocked, man. Honestly, I feel like I should have already rocked him again. With how many clean shots I've planted on this man's face. Mm-hmm. I could probably land a, a left haymaker on this man. Oh, beautiful pull counter. Relax. Relax. Is okay, okay. Caught the cage off. There we go. <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. It feels so good. Get up, sir. You can do it. You can absolutely do it. Don't die now. Don't die now. There we go. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Come on, baby. Come on, Canelo. Come on, Canelo. I could probably start land trying to land a left haymaker on this man. Then I try to land it after I pull, though. When he's standing completely still. Oh, he landed that one. Oh, watch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Left side of my head. There it is. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that, baby. Round number nine. Oh. Uh -huh. Jab to the body. Land again. Let's go for cross to the body. Here we go. I'm going to look for that, that overhand again. That, that left haymaker. But again, he has to be standing still. There we go. Stand still so I don't whiff it. Beautiful. There we go. Yeah. Uh huh. Another one. Watch your head. I know it's hurting, sir. I know that that right side of your head is hurting. My left hooks will be deadly right now, bro. Yes, yes. Hold on. Cut off the cage. Over here. There, right there. Right one. Cut off. That's it. <laughs> That's how you use overhands, okay? 
that's how you use overhands, bro. Not just winging it in the middle of the fight, whiffing like a mofo. He's done. He's done. That's it. That's over. It's over. Yeah. Good fight, brother. Good fight. That was that was good. That was absolutely good, bro. That was good. Showstopper. Yeah. Yeah, man. That was a very, very good fight, bro. I really enjoyed that one. Really enjoyed that one. It was it was a really, really good performance with Roy Jones Jr. Um, probably my best performance with Roy Jones so far. Um, everything just worked out. Look at this. Look at this. 8070, bro. A complete fucking shutout, bro. A complete shutout from bell to bell, from round number one to round number round number eight. A complete shutout. This is how uh this is how this game this is how it this is how it should be playing it, man. Strike accuracy 49% to his 27%. So we were definitely way more accurate. But it's like I said, man, when you have the reach advantage and you also happen to be the faster guy, that's just what happens, man. That's what happens. And you play smart and you don't play like an idiot, you know? But yeah, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.